leaves start to fall. Well, we are here to get you ready for what is ahead in your day. And from coast to coast, the Weather Channel has you covered. All right, lots to talk about here because we left you yesterday mm -hmm. with tremendous rain coming down in North Carolina. And when it go back to that, look at the satellite loop. The moisture was just a fire hose of moisture coming in here and so much lightning. That was incredible amounts of lightning. But that was, one little that one little area that came yeah. on shore, it was just like mm -hmm. intense. It was ferocious. Yeah. And we had wind gusts over 60 miles mm -hmm. per hour in yeah. places, heavy rain, the tornado threat. The hail. The hail. Yeah. The hail. It yeah. was a vigorous yeah. storm that moved in. Thankfully, it was not turning into a tropical cyclone. It yeah. could have made things worse. Yeah. Right. Well, it was pretty bad for a couple of towns here in North Carolina, including around Carolina Beach and Southport. And here's Carolina Beach. You can see how the town basically filled with water. Which is just, I mean, a pretty crazy. Again, wasn't a tropical cyclone. Mm -hmm. Well, you don't have to have a tropical cyclone to bring you scenes like this. Such an excellent point. And we were highlighting that yesterday. We were having winds over tropical storm force, but it wasn't one. We had very significant impacts regardless. The low pressure came inland and in South yeah. Carolina. Yeah, um, mm -hmm. it, that was sort of inconsequential here, but we still have the moisture in place and we need to talk about where heavy rain is going to fall today. Yeah, no doubt. Well, Mother Nature's country roads will. All right, yeah. Well, tonight you should look up for another reason. Yeah. Yes. So we got a cloud cover up here. It's important because we got a full moon tonight mm -hmm. and there's going to be a partial lunar eclipse, a blood moon. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, we wouldn't be able to see it, right? Yeah. How about cloud cover out there? Um, there are a couple spots where it could be tricky. Mid-Atlantic may be a little tough. Uh -huh. So heads yeah. up there, northern Seattle. plains. Glad you got those northern lights. Yeah. You're not going to get the, mm -hmm. the blood moon. Um, but yeah, overall, southern plains looks good. It does. All right, we'll check out the best videos of the day when we reveal the weather gone viral top five this afternoon. All right, maybe do some traveling here. I mean, in we're in still... In summertime. So if you go in the fall, right. it's less crowded. Yes, that's a good point. And you get the fall color show. And, and you get the fall color show. You get the I'm not sweating every second of the... Uh, <laughs> Jake. Yeah. There's, yeah, there's a lot of benefits there. Yeah. I like that. Parks. Okay, cool. All right, we'll keep those comments coming. You can send them to us on social media. Also share your pics and video with us using the hashtag YesTV, and we will share them on the show. Summer and a trip to the beach. In the last couple of days, uh, we have seen a potential uh, tropical cyclone there, number eight. That caused some problems here on the North Carolina coast. Yeah, I mean, surf is still churned up out there. And, you know, the tropics are not the only threat that beachgoers may face this time of year. Bruckner Chase from Ocean Positive joins. Now, Jen, you've, uh, it's kind yeah. of that one of those things you don't necessarily want to let everyone know. <laughs> Because <laughs> it's like, I know. Yeah, it's like it your little hidden time. secret. I don't, I really don't want to tell anyone, but I'll tell you, I think Florida in the fall is the absolute best. I have to try it. I've, yeah. done, I've not done it because I always talk about, oh gosh, got to go to Florida. It's going to be hot. It's going to be humid. Yeah. But that's and a good time of the year to avoid that. September is still pretty hot and humid, but by October, really now you start into... to get some cooler nights and dew yeah. points drop off a little bit. The water's still warm, so you can still swim. You know? Yeah, I mean, I, I, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I think it's, and, and you lose the crowd. So it's just, I think it's the It's best. a win-win-win. Well, we are here to get you ready for what is ahead in your day. And from coast to coast, the Weather Channel has you covered. All right, guys, yesterday was such a rainy day in North Carolina. And this tells so much of the story. It's a sat visible satellite. You can see the clouds bubbling up out there and how there's just a steady stream of moisture coming right in there. Steady is the word. It mm -hmm. was steady. It would not let up. It was incredible the amount of rainfall that we saw in what was a relatively short period of time. I mean, 12 inches plus. I think we ended up with like 20 inches in some in some. It spots. was 19. Yeah, there that was go. the top total, I think, measure. But there were radar estimates. Yeah. Wow. So all from a non-tropical cyclone. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is an area of low pressure that formed along a front and brought with it the extremely heavy rain that you mentioned. Mm -hmm. Gusty winds. We saw wind gusts over 60 miles per hour in some places, as well as the tornado threat and hail. We had hail. I mean, yeah. it's not something common in a tropical system, and it wasn't, you know, a tropical system. But look at all that lightning. Yeah. Yesterday when Lynette was live for us, yeah. she had to keep going in to seek shelter because right. there's so much lightning. That was, that's a big part of it. When you have this much lightning, you're going to have some big rainfall rates and hail, and yeah. we had both. And, of course, the images of what was left behind in the wake, particularly across Carolina, mm -hmm. Carolina Coast. Carolina Beach really hit hard. I mean, this, this is... You should not be trudging through this water, first of all. Clearly, I can't believe that car's yeah, making it. I don't know how they made it either. Clearly, Maybe this they is, didn't. I this don't is know. A what not to do uh, right here, but that water should not be there. That was all from what came from the sky, just torrential rain coming in over and over and over. Yeah, you mentioned a very good point, not to wade into that water. We don't know what's in that water. Mm -hmm. Toxic chemicals, sharp objects, 
Sharks? No, no, not sharks. I'm kidding. But yeah, really not good yeah. scene. You want to oh, avoid that. so much cleanup that needs yeah. to get done. Well, Mother Nature's Country Road. Whoa, we are here to get you ready for what is ahead in your day. That's right. From coast to coast, the Weather Channel has you covered. That's right. Yesterday, we were talking all about the very heavy rainfall, so we had to show this again. Uh, because it, well, we didn't have this whole vantage point put together yesterday. When we came to you, we were looking at the rain. Now we're seeing what was happening at the time and what happened after with the roads just being filled with water. Yeah, I mean, really incredible when you start thinking about, yeah, we, the whole day is like, was this, would this become a tropical cyclone? Will it, will it? It didn't matter. Didn't it matter. at all. The impacts felt very, very much that heavy rain and yeah. the incredible lightning we saw from this thing, too. Yeah. The lightning was unbelievable. And also a tornado threat we had. Yeah. We had winds gusting over 60 miles per hour in some spots. So I kind of wish the Hurricane Center left that alone and just regarded it as an area of low pressure, which can, on their own right, be extremely impactful. And it was. I mean, we saw nearly 20 inches of rain. We saw hail. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, you know, the vivid lightning, as you can see. And this is the aftermath of all that rainfall. Roads in Carolina Beach just filled up with water. Yeah, that's one of the hardest hit locations there. I mean, you can clearly see you got cars, you know, doing what they're not supposed to be doing, going <laughs> through that water. Uh, I mean, it's just unbelievable to think about all that rain that added up to, to what we see there. I mean, that water should not be there. Yes, there's, if you look across the zone, there's the, the uh, ocean, but that wasn't ocean water. No. That was coming from the rain from the sky. Yeah, and thinking about visitors as well. Your residents, one thing, uh, but if you're visiting from the area and all of a sudden you're like stranded. Yeah. yeah. Where do you go? Yeah. Wow. Well, Mother Nature's country room. Well fed. He's got a keeper. So he's not hungry. That probably helped him out. Yeah. That helped him out a lot. Wow. <laughs> Boy. You sure. Can we raise some money? No, no okay. chance. No, I mean, not even for a lifetimes of earnings. No way. Wouldn't no do big it. Big burlap sack. Burlap sack of like whatever money amount you want. Wouldn't do it. No chance. All right. I wouldn't either, actually. Yeah, yeah no. all three of us <laughs> will stay on the couch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll check out the best videos of the day when we reveal the weather gone viral top five coming up this afternoon. All right, time now. The waters are kind of mm. cool there in August anyway for me, but but um, I imagine you know you just lose the crowds. Yeah. And still beautiful. Yeah. I mean, I think we come down to that, right? Is a lot of this when you get into the fall time, that crowd, mm -hmm. the crowd thing makes it because different. In fact, how about Mike, uh, who says the UP of Michigan? Cool. And yeah, that's that's the common theme with so many of our answers. Yeah, exactly. Less people. Less people. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think we all like to be social, but it's always nice to have. We love people. Some space on the beach just, to yourself, right? right? Yeah. 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 All right. Well, keep those comments coming. You appreciate them today. You can share your comments or your pics and video using the hashtag YesTV, and we will share them on the show. Well, summer and a trip to the beach go hand in hand. And hand. upper level winds are going to be moving right across this area. And always look to see where, where is everything overlapping in the atmosphere. I mean, you saw the fronts. Now we bring our winds right in here. So it's pretty obvious, maybe eastern Colorado, western Nebraska. That's a hot spot to watch. You know, that's so funny that you mentioned where it's all overlapping. When you're in meteorology school and you draw these maps and they're all complicated and that's where the interesting weather usually comes from. Right. It's a perfect yeah. analogy. I learned it by making a bad forecast once in me and Matt at Penn State. Yeah. And then, you know, all of a sudden now you look to see where everything comes together. This is the area where everything's coming together that we're going to see that greatest wind threat. Winds could be over 75 miles per hour here because of thunderstorms. Those uh, st winds aloft will be, at some cases, captured and brought down to the surface in those damaging wind gusts on the high plains here of Nebraska and Colorado. All right, so the upper-level energy hanging back right now over mm -hmm. Nevada and parts of Idaho. This is going to be spinning it out ahead of it. Uh, you're going to see that risk of thunderstorms getting enhanced by the lift that this thing is giving You us. can already see the lift so in that satellite I'll picture. That's fine, Jen. Yeah, I'll go back because it is really cool. I'll show this all day. It is. This, is. this is exactly what Jen was mentioning. Over Wyoming and parts of Colorado and nearby areas, a lot more enhanced sort of visuals here on this picture. The lift is in place. The thunderstorms are coming soon. And it corresponds to thunderstorms that we will see hitting the ground once we get through this evening, tracking east. And then in the next two days, watch farther north. We're not quite done with this whole system. Eventually, by Thursday, it's Minnesota that sees the risk of storms. She won't breathtaking. Hmm. That sounds wonderful. Really yeah, does. seems like a good time of year to do some fishing. Mm -hmm. I have to ask Reynolds, but he always tells me like a good low pressure day is a good fishing day. There you go. So. A lot of low pressures in the fall, right? Yeah, there are a lot of low pressures in the fall. Um, let's check out the fall color right now and see where we're at in terms of getting okay. some of this time of year. Grand Tetons, good, uh, good time to go visit. Yeah, always seeking those areas first, right? The mountains of the west, mm -hmm. and then also you get into New England. Of course, as you head farther south, 
it takes a little bit longer for that to get going. Yeah, and it lasts a long time, too, in the South, I feel like, too. You don't usually get it all at once. Right, right, right. Spread out. All right, well, good stuff, good stuff. Thanks for all the comments. Thanks for sharing with us here your uh, fall destinations here. Uh, what's up next? Weather unfiltered. All right, they'll have... Uh...